Hello from Istanbul. Welcome back to my channel. And I hope you will see lots of interesting stuff during this time. So I want to show you closer what I've done so far. This is tiny stitches, one uh, over one. I'm stitching with um, petite uh, DMC needle. It's different to bead needle because the size is uh, smaller and uh, you can buy in Hobby Lobby. I bought this uh, needles for Mirabilia's because I was teaching lots of uh, faces uh, over one as well. And this is a bead needle. It's more sharp and uh, the eye is smaller. This one, uh, DMC, is uh, thicker, just a little bit, and shorter. And it's more comfortable to stitch with this needle because um, it's not as sharp as the other one. And it does a, a job amazingly. And yeah, working on some leaves. Then will be flowers. I like to see close-ups because it just inspire me. And yeah, my plan is to have four of them, definitely not this year. It just happened that I had time to take it with me and uh, maybe next year another two. And um, on my birthday, I don't know, I don't want to have any plan to start big chatelain, but uh, I definitely have to start big one as well because I practice, I think, enough. I can read chart uh, very good and I practice some specialty stitches as well. Uh, just time to start a big one. Uh, I would, I was thinking to start at the very beginning uh, the big shutter line, but then I was so in love with the small tiny stars and I could not resist myself. Yeah, as you can see, I was working with uh, treasure braid. PB35, uh, basically every star has uh, the same uh, frame, just the inside, uh, every herb is different. And you also can put your own, even you can take it from Herbalaris, there are different type of herbs. You can make, instead of four, you can make four, um, sorry, six, eight, no matter how much, uh, doesn't matter how much you want to put in, just the most important is to stitch uh, the same frame. Guys, I just want to show you the progress of my uh, shutter line, little star. This is uh, design uh, is number two. And um, I made a post on Instagram. If you want to see, you can go and um, look at the details but uh, i'm trying to uh, stitch this tiny uh, crosses uh, at the daytime so i don't uh, hurt my eyes but um, the rest i'm stitching at night and last night i did not have uh, well i slept for like three four hours I woke up, I could not sleep. I don't know why. It's very rare when it's happened to me. So I decided to stitch. I stitch and I stitch a lot. I have to say, as you can see, the progress is big. And I'm going to stitch now because I fell asleep. I, I came back. I was walking today for about uh, six hours. I went to visit my friend. And um, I don't use uh, any um, transportation. Just walk, walk, walk. And so... I was watching uh, a movie about, uh, maybe it's a documentary, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it was in real life, about octopus. So, guess what? In my room, we are renting an apartment, a huge apartment. This is one of the rooms, and it has octopus. I don't know how that happened, but um, the picture is huge. So... After that uh, movie, I will never eat octopus. And if you know how they prepare it, you, you will also uh, be the same as me. I think so. 
because the, the octopus has muscles and uh, to make it softer they have to hit it on a floor to make it uh, softer mm. yeah <laughs> I ordered uh, mandala octopus never like uh, never like the design before but after that movie and especially half picture of octopus i was like oh i needed especially half all the mermaids and everything but i really i never look at that design um, as um, I don't care that I'm fat. I'm gonna have my ice cream. Okay, okay, have fun. You can you can videotape me all you want. You're just jealous. I am very jealous. I got ice cream. You don't. Today is 30th of April. I'm playing with my design from Shutterline, and let me tell you how much I enjoy this project. And I have still so much stitches to do and beads, but it's almost almost done. I have to backstitch every leaf here and there uh, using different colors of threads but um, I like uh, backstitch and uh, I know people who doesn't uh, maybe you will not enjoy as much as I do but after this uh, backstitch after this work you will uh, look at dimension and say oh this is sunflower seeds compared to uh, Chatelaine and um, yeah I just made a little of back stitch on that side and imagine it will be all over and how many stitches uh, are here and I do them um, one over two well you can do one over four but I prefer to make it one uh, over two because um, it looks better to me and it's more neat and more accurate and um, this is just my preference so yeah 30th of april can't believe i'm stitching this design and never like um shut a line i did not understand what is the circles and what's going on there but i think i stitch a lot and i needed something different because here you're not just stitching you learn uh, same way uh, some stuff and uh, stitching with silks it's something different it's something I have not experienced that much. Uh, I did uh, stitch in Mirabilis and stitch in... Uh, um, what else I stitch with silks? Maybe just Mirabilia. No, I stitched some designs with silks as well, but it was not like full uh, design uh, of uh, silks. Uh, well, in here as well, you use DMC. Uh, like in the center of the design, I was using DMC. And uh, I have uh, to finish uh, the center of the design, but because I was using leftovers from my first uh, star, I think I forgot uh, to put um, all the threads from this design, but I'm fine. I'll come back home. I'll go back to Ukraine in the middle of May, I think, and uh, I will finish this design. I just need the yellow color of Gloriana. If I will not have it, maybe it wasn't including in that kit. I'll just choose something from uh, Karen water lilies or whatever. I'll find a way how to finish this design. The rest I have everything. I have um, all the threads for sword star, but I'm not gonna start. Otherwise, you will you will stop watching me. And uh, <laughs> I need some rest as well, to be honest, because uh, this border on this flower is exactly the same as a border in the first flower, and every star has uh, exactly the same border it's just the center you change and i've seen one lady in russian um blog spot not gallery.ru i think 
I can't remember, just Google this design because I was doubting which um, backstitch to stitch in here. And I just want to triple check that I understood it right because, uh, again, you have to read the instructions, be all the instructions before you do your stitching and you'd have to triple check uh, every single time. Otherwise, you will end up with mistakes. And uh, believe me, it's more difficult to replace silks uh, than DMC. So, I found that she actually, what she did, she a little bit changed the uh, frame in some of designs and she was using a completely different um, flowers and herbs inside but she stitched four of these uh, stars besides that she made four her own I'm not sure if she took them from some designs from Chatelaine or she just created her own but she said uh, and you can see that uh, the actual frame it was a little bit different but same similar colors than um, this one yeah so in the future if i would like for example to have uh, eight stars or six stars i can take some uh, designs from herbalarius let's say they're herbs uh, different than here and i can uh, place them in the center and i have another design ready if i would like it but i think four will be more than enough for me I almost forgot to show you two other samplers I was working on and this is reflects the soie. This is a French company and again don't mind the color because this is completely wrong. I can see that you see gray. This is more blue in life. Anyway this sampler had some progress because uh, I was showing you my whips in that video. I noticed that some designs I have not even touched for so, such a long time and it's time to play with them, uh, give them some attention. You know, that's why we get bored from uh, some whips and start another one and we forget our previous uh, whips and they're just as nice as new ones, right? Uh, we, sometimes I'm feeling myself like a child. Uh, I have to... <laughs> hide from myself something for um, a while to uh, forget about it and then you take it as a new toy, right? I'm sorry you hear some sounds, but uh, I can't find other time. People outside are so noisy. Believe me or not, today is uh, first day of lockdown in Turkey and we still can go out because we have foreign passports and it was so quiet the whole day just before I took a camera everyone started fixing something people were screaming now they making some uh, gates outside i don't know why exactly now but let's keep it it's not your worries i just can't fix everything in uh, 40 minutes paul gave to me because i sent him to buy some strawberries some vegetables and uh, I'll have some quiet time to record video. You know, I understand him completely as well. When he has some uh, important meetings, he like asking me, please, please go uh, away because I have to concentrate. Even, you know, that uh, he knows that I will not uh, make any noise. I'll sit in another room, knowing that someone else out uh, in other place gives you some, you know, pressure or something, I don't know. But. I make video many, many times. I ask Daniel and Paul sit quiet in another room. <laughs> I'll try to show you the sampler closer, but again, the colors are not exactly the same what you see on camera. And I really worry about that because I like to see beautiful picture on a, a floss tube because this is what we like. This is how we get inspired and Again, don't mind all these wrinkles, could not iron properly because I'm not using my own iron. This is all will go away. I'm trying to play with fabric to show you closer and <laughs> I'm so naive to 
believe that you will see a uh, real picture. These parts I don't like, I have to fix them. If you have some problems with your linen, I advise you to watch a video of uh, Sharky's teacher. She made uh, video 911, how to save your fabric if you have a hole or you, ha you have something um, like uh, these snobs on your uh, fabric. You can save it, you can replace it. Anyway, I've been working on this sampler for about three days. Yeah, on a camera you see it's so roughly, but um, it's not as visible in real life. I will try to fix it, but I don't know. It's so hot here. It's uh, plus 70, I think, Fahrenheit on Fahrenheit and uh, in Celsius about 23. I don't know exactly if I'm telling you the truth in Fahrenheit, but uh, 23 degrees in, uh, Celsius. And I'm standing and I'm in t-shirts and it's so hot, I don't know why. Uh, rose is almost done. I have to add uh, one leaf here, but um, I'll do it when I will move uh, my hoops. Uh, well, that's why I took it out to um, continue stitching and I decided to change fabric, uh, to change the uh, whip. Here I have to fix with a uh, with needle. You see, this is from my hoops. Uh, but it's easy to fix, don't worry. The only thing I left very little fabric on the uh, border, but I'm gonna put a uh, lace there and um, I think it will be a tablecloth like on a preview. Anyway, it's beautiful, beautiful piece and I'm looking forward to stitch it and um, to share it with you. And it will be a large piece because uh, the original size is 300, I think. Let me check quickly. Uh, the chart itself is amazing. I like the preview and the quality of papers. Amazing. I like it. To me, it's very, very important. Yeah, it's almost uh, 400 uh, crosses. 267 by 394. And you can see here the key. You can use original colors, I advise you. But I see some people using different fabrics. When I started, I didn't see one stitched uh, piece, but now lots of Russian floss tubers, or floss tubers, stitchers, they've done this project and uh, they did it on different fabrics diff with different threads. Uh, it's all your imagination. I like it like on a preview and still my uh, piece will be a little bit different because I'm using Madeira threads, Madeira silks and uh, Madeira silks to me very similar to NPI, very similar but to be honest if you compare um, Swadalji, NPI, Gloriana and Madeira, Madeira will be on the last, will be the last for me. But it's not that uh, big difference. It's more close to NPI. Yeah, uh, to NPI and Swadalji because Gloriana for me uh, number one now. And uh, number two probably Rainbow Gallery. I'm not sure. I have to still used to it and I have to test it more. But um, the Madeira thread is more tough and I'm trying to work on my crosses, believe me, because it's very, very important uh, not to have 100 or 200 finishes for me. It's to have one properly done uh, design. And I better will wait, I better will take time. Instead of rushing, I, I have uh, <laughs> all time in the world to make one uh, piece, but uh, nicely. And um, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Believe me, <laughs> change uh, needles many times. Still doesn't work. Tension is amazing. I, I don't know what else do I need to to do. Maybe it's 40s count. To be honest, I'm stitching first time on 40s count. I did stitch on 36 and 37. This other sampler stitch on 37s. But again, maybe it's about uh, threads you're using. 
because there is not a big difference between two uh, of these accounts but um, here I kind of like my stitches they're not wow perfect but uh, at least it's not that what you see on roses maybe the uh, way it's stitched looks like this I don't know but I mean it's day at night and to that it seems to me <laughs> smaller here than actually it does but I know it's 40s count because I ordered 40s count so why is this stitches well let give me a second I just realize it now that they are probably a little bit bigger if you see on camera doesn't seems that this count looks like 36 but it's not the stitches are much smaller well I don't know now I'm completely lost <laughs> but uh, and Morrison looks like smaller stitches to me because this is Zweigert 40s count I need to compare with 36 but I remember I did order 40s and uh, when I started after uh, 18th count I, I noticed the difference it was smaller anyway this is 37s yeah well slowly slowly I'm stitching this sampler and I will come back uh, in a few days we'll see because we have another trip and I don't know how much time I will have to stitch but uh, these Algerian eyelets they made me tired <laughs> as well because way too many of them and I just miss crosses and uh, I might will go up and stitch uh, letters here and whatever is there on top and then I will come back to another part so I will not go to another design and um, I will move the sampler because really I need to have a finish <laughs> I forgot the last time I was stitching sampler and when I was starting stitching it I was like this is what I miss in my whips this is what I needed uh, as well I have all my other projects are big and there is no end there and you kind of get tired and I started stitching smaller design because uh, you not get used to them so quickly and uh, you see the end <laughs> they're easier to stitch well not always but at least you finish them before you fell out of love and with me is uh, very often when I like something I really love it and then one day I like sweet, turn something turn off and I <laughs> fell out of love <laughs> but I love all my whips and uh, I'll work on them no matter what just will take some time okay guys I might will go enjoy this weather outside I'll have uh, some walk and we'll edit this video hopefully you will see it today Take care and uh, don't forget to comment this video. Please, I appreciate all your likes and uh, your subscriptions. As well, don't forget my Instagram, L Barnard. We always can chat there and uh, you can see better colors of my uh, fabric and designs. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Paul's favorite coffee shop, they're selling coffee here and they do everything by hand. They have all coffee machines inside. Yeah, usually they have big queue in the mornings. Well, all the time, but now only Turkish people, no tourists. We're in Grand Bazaar, by the way. Into the yeah, we will walk. Last time they were measuring temperature. I don't know what they do now. Oh, yeah. But it's a little bit crowded. I thought it, it was closed because of lockdown. These are fishmen in Istanbul. I should have bring my uh, microphone. And we're going on to the left side, to the Asian side, because we're having our walks. Because my wife thinks I'm bad. No, because I think to be in shape is good. Yeah.
Yeah, she calls me Jiggly. <laughs> I learned a new word. <laughs> I don't think I'm that fat. No, you're not. <laughs>